As you might have noticed, I was not able to upload a video this week. And my friend Kringle has been reminding me. And he keeps on reminding me. Okay, fine! So with his gentle persuasion, I am uploading Cheap Miniatures number 7, Hero Clicks. Now, Hero Clicks are famous for not having the best paint job, and sometimes their sculpts are not very good. But I did find a whole bunch of them at my local thrift store, so let's take a look at the ones that I feel will mix in well with D&D miniatures. As you can see, I have a lot of really interesting things, mostly uh, from the Marvel franchise. Uh, we have some Electra miniatures here, along with a monk slash Yakuza slash ninja guy. I don't know who this character is, but he's in scale with D&D. Ashari here would make a very nice monk character. He does have some very interesting, like, little tattoo painting thing. But I might, you know, I'm gonna definitely touch him up in terms of the rest of his paint job. I also found some very interesting ninja miniatures, which are always handy to have around. And some uh, miniatures that seem to be from some sort of setting that's like, uh, I don't know, fantasy? I don't know what franchise these are from. But they have names like Ian Nottingham. I really like the poses on some of these. Of course, the paint job's terrible, but I'll have to update that. Moving on to more traditional heroes, there's a lot of these that could easily be repainted into something cool, including this Huntress miniature, which is... I just like the pose on this one, so I don't know if I want to touch it that much. Uh, we also have a number of options that would make really good traditional monsters including the little, uh, I believe it's a mutoid guy on the right there, as well as some larger miniatures, including the floating guy there, who is the Mandarin. He would make a really good evil wizard uh, with the fly spell on. And again, these guys are perfectly in scale with D&D miniatures. Let's talk briefly about rebasing these guys. Now, as you can see, I have my cut mat down pat. A box cutter is not a good choice to try to cut these bases off. Neither is an X-Acto knife, actually. I have found that a big old thick buck knife is actually perfect for getting the bases off these things with little muss and little fuss. Though you will want to be careful on some of the models because you don't want to chip off their feet. Now that we've gotten the hero click off its base, what we want to do is make a lot of little marks with an X-Acto knife on the base there to make sure it's all textured up. And then use a very little bit of super glue. You don't want to use too much. If you use a little bit of super glue, that's actually going to give a much tighter hold to your new base. For example, in this one, I went online and found some cheap Warhammer 28mm bases that are perfectly in scale with D&D &D bases. As you can see, now we have a Heroclix miniature we can easily use with D&D. &D. Now, I got really lucky with this find. I paid about $3 for all the miniatures that you saw in this video. So, I would hesitate for anybody to go out there and spend a lot of money on Heroclix miniatures, expecting the same quality as even the D&D &D pre-painted stuff. If you're familiar with Mage Knight, you know that some of these miniatures are super wonky looking and would require a lot of work to fit in well on a D&D &D table. So, if you can find them for cheap, then sure, try some out and see if you like them. Otherwise, I would suggest you wait until you can find them for super cheap. eBay lots and clearance prices in stores are my suggestions for finding these miniatures. Do you know of any cheap miniatures that I should be covering in this video series? Please let me know in the comments below. Have a great day, and as always, thank you for watching the video!